Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Programming Knowledge and this is another video tutorial series and in this particular series, we're gonna be building an application, a very simple application. This application will enable us to create, read, update, and delete a particular record in our database. So if you're interested and want to learn more about this project, stay tuned and surely I will give you all the steps needed to create this particular application. By the way guys, this is a 5-part video tutorial series, so if you're new here in our channel, please consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell so you get updated whenever we have a new upload. So let's go directly to the main content of this video and here we have the expected output of our application. So here we have the table uh, displaying all the records of users. So for now we have only three records available in our database and we have few options here so, so for example we have the recycle icon to uh, enable us to delete this if you want to delete this particular record you can delete this if you click on this recycle icon so click and then you will be presented with this confirmation are you sure you want to delete this user so if you really want to uh, delete this user so you just have to click on ok and there you have it user deleted with success okay and then we also have the full name is enabled with a link so if you try to click on the link we will be redirected to another page which is the edit user so we have here the id as uh, we cannot edit the id but uh, we can edit the full name and email address of this particular user and of course, here at the left side, we have the option to add new user. So if we try to add a new user here, so, so for example, the name is John Doe and John Doe at gmail.com and click on save. So there, user inserted with success and we have a new user which is John Doe and we have the email John Doe at gmail.com. So this is the expected output of our project. I know this is just a very simple application, but it will help you get started with PHP, jQuery, and other underlying technologies that we're going to use here. So this is how the files are organized with this project. So we have here the uh, directory for classes, directory for CSS, database, directory for includes, and JS, and of course, this two important files, which is the form.php and index.php. So under classes, we have two files, which is database.php and user.php. So I'm going to be providing you the starter files for this project. So you could uh, follow me along with this tutorial. So you can find the link in the description below. You can download the files or the starter files for, the, for this project and you can follow along with this tutorial so before going any further with our project i'm going to show you first the structure of our database so what i have here is programming knowledge as the database name and the table name is crude underscore users so that's c r u d underscore users and the user or the crude underscore users table has three attributes namely id name and email so the id is the primary key with the type in and the length is 11 and of course the auto increment is enabled for this particular attribute and of course the second one is the name the type is varchar or varkar which is the length is 100 and of course the same with email the length is 100 and type is varchar or varkar for this particular uh, attribute email so that's the structure of our crude underscore users table and all our records will go here and for now let's go back to our editor and start working with our project so the first thing that we're going to need is to set up our database.php so we're going to create a database class so as you can see, I have here the database.php file and we have a class database with five attributes for the host name, the uh, database name, 
the username, password, and this connection variable or connection attribute. So we have here the method for DB, uh, DB connection. So we have try and catch uh, clause. And of course, this is the standard way of connecting to our database. We're just going to supply all necessary information such as the host name, the database name, the username, and the password. And of course, other properties or attributes needed for this connection, which is for now we have the PDO attribute. Error mode is error mode uh, underscore exception. And of course, PDO, the second attribute is the MySQL attribute initialize command, which is set names UTF-8 as the character encoding for our connection so that's the basic connection and we're just going to use this class to connect to our database and of course we're going to include this or require this database class to our user that php class so in this file we're going to require the database class so the first thing is require once and then database that php so we can now use the class database in our user.php file. So as you can see, we have here the class user and inside this class, we're going to add several functions such as the constructor, the function to execute queries, function to insert, function to update, function to delete, and of course, another function to redirect by using a URL. So the first thing that we're going to add here is the um, attribute which is private con and of course the constructor for this particular user class so public function underscore underscore construct okay and then curly braces open and co close curly braces inside here we're going to uh, define or create an object for our database class so database equals new database and of course this database we're going to assign this to a new variable which is db equals database and of course the method to connect to our database which is we have db connection and then open and close and then let's just assign our attribute connection so this con equals db okay so another function which is the function to run our uh, sql queries so public function and then the name is run query and this accepts SQL statement and of course we're just going to define the statement uh, statement and then the attribute which is the connection and call the method prepare to prepare the statement that we're going to execute and then of course return the uh, statement variable okay so let's just leave this function for now and then we're just going to use this uh, function later on in our project so another function that we're going to create is the insert function so this will be another public function and then insert and of course this function accepts the name and of course the email of our user so first let's add the uh, try and catch clause for this um, function so exception e okay so now we have the try and catch and this should be pdo exception and whenever we have an exception with our code uh, we should display this exception by using the e and then getting the message by using the get message uh, function so right here we're going to define the statement and then we're going to use the connection and call the prepare method or function and supply the SQL statement which is insert 
into table name which is crude users and then we're going to supply the attribute or attributes which are name and email and the values should be name and of course email okay and then of course we need to bind the parameters that we're going to use so statement and then the function bind parameter and of course the name and then of course the variable name the same with the email and this should be email and of course this one should be email and then stmt we're going to execute the statement and return stmt okay so there you have it we now have the public function insert that will enable us to insert the user by using name and email attributes so in the next video we're going to work on with this functions update delete and redirect method